Sachi. Welcome to Fundu Tester. In this Postman series, today we are going to discuss real-time API testing problem and we are going to discuss how we can solve that problem as well. So first, let's understand what is a problem statement. In a Postman, we are adding a request something like this. So we have folder 1 we and folder 2 and inside the folder 1, we have let's say a couple of requests like a first 2 and third 4 requests inside the folder 2 and similar way we have multiple folders created now from the first request we are getting some number of a data let's say 10 data or sometimes 5 data it's a dynamic number of a data and based on the response data of a first request we have to execute request that many times so for example here we are getting a 10 data then this request we need to execute 10 times now uh, 1 3 and 4 will execute only once and second request will execute for 10 times based on the amount of a data and this not a collection iteration so in collection iteration also we are specifying one that means this request will execute only once but this request will execute based on the number of data we have so let's discuss how this can be solved in a postman and for this we have to write a script at three different places so let's understand how this can be done and before moving forward don't forget to like and share this video with your friend and don't forget to subscribe fundu testers camera rolling action so let's go to the computer screen earlier during the test cases walkthrough uh, I have discussed that test scenario and now we are going to implement basically that test scenario. So here we have couple of a board's request and here we are getting a get specific data of a board and if I am hitting this request we are getting couple of data. So here id name url id name url. Now the problem is uh, how we can make sure that this data is correct or not and this data also should be in a pair so if i'm getting this id it should goes along with this particular name this is the complete match so if we are getting this id 5 dbd something like that and the name is automation then also uh, the data we are receiving is invalid data so how can we make sure that we are hitting this request once but in the next get single board we are passing a board id but this board id we are getting a number of a board id 10 12 or it can be any number and we have to make sure that all the board ids are correct so those many times we need to execute this particular get single board api so we'll see how this can be done so there are there are basically three steps first we have to get the all ids from the first request so here i have created a one specific folder loop request and basically i have copied these two apis to this folder simply nothing else and then i'm going to the first request here basically first we are getting all the data on a first statement we are first getting a response body and we are storing as a response data variable and then i'm declaring one array so inside the array i'm going to store all the ids and name in a pair so that will be a nested array on a first element it will be id and name of a first uh, board details second element id and name of a second board detail so something like that so we have received a response data so i am iterating entire response data and i am fetching one by one id and then i am adding into uh, this array so i uh, here i am i am writing response data dot for each and um, that is a variable board and board data uh, this is the board data so inside that i need to add basically id and uh, board name so this is the standard syntax board data dot push and inside that id dot board id dot name so here this is the json path again so if uh, your request structure is different here i am uh, getting on a out, outer layer uh, in a similar fashion id and board so i need to it is just a first node of a element so if you are not familiar with a json path then i have created a separate video you will get in a description i request you to go through that video as well so here basically we are getting all the board id and board name and we are pushing into this board data array and then we have to store this board data into collection variable or environment variable so i am preferring as a collection level variable so i am writing pm dot collection variable dot set a board data will be a key and uh, this board data this entire variable i need to store so json dot stringify board data so basically I'm setting this data, this array list into a collection level. You can store the same data into environment level variable as well. So pm.environment variable.set and uh, 
if you are not remembering this syntax then i have provided a cheat sheet in a previous video so you can refer that video as well so this is the first step we have completed here we are just storing all the board data so if i'm hitting this request and if i go to the collection level so i'm going to the postman and here i'm going to the variable so here we are getting all the data id uh, representing to this particular name similar with second id second name third id third name so like this we are getting all the data now with the second request uh, first we are going to write a pre-request script so why we are writing a pre-request script because we have data somewhere stored in a collection level variable now we are passing this data as a path parameter so first we need to go to collection level variable and then get a first element id and name and then with a request we are passing a board id and with a response we need to validate name of that particular board against appropriate id so we have to write a now two different script one is a pre-request script the certain activities we are doing before executing this request so what i am doing i am grabbing couple of data from the collection variable and i'm setting up into with the environment variable so first this code is going to execute multiple times so i am setting a one temp variable which is a loop count and i'm setting with the environment variable so first what i'm going uh, pm environment variables dot set and uh, one key which is a loop count if i go to the environment variable you can see the one uh, variable which is loop count and initial value is a zero so i don't know what is the initial value so every time first i need to check initial value is zero or not so if it is not zero then we need to get the appropriate id and then initially it will be a zero but later on it will be a one two something like that so once i'll get the loop count id so i'll get to know that it is executing first time second time third time something like that so basically i'm tracking how many times this request is executing using an environment variable so that is the first point now second is uh, first we are grabbing data from the collection level variable so it's a pn collection variables dot get and board data we have stored board data so simply uh, we need to call this key and we need to get the board data so we are getting a board data and then we are making sure that that board data does not have any errors so we are just making sure that json dot parse board data if it is able to parse the entire json array so basically it's a json array and inside that multiple json object we have as a key and value pairs so we are making sure that those data is correct if those data is not correct then we will show the error messages and we'll stop the execution from that point only and now we are going to do the actual stuff so uh, first we got here the loop count based on the loop count and we are comparing the length of a data so we got a number of a certain set of a data so we are checking that pm environment dot get loop count so here we will get some number and both data dot length so here first we got a both data so that is also error so we are comparing uh, first time it will be zero less than nine or ten something like that if that condition satisfied then it will go inside so basically here it will be something like that first time it will be uh one less than 10 and second time it will be two less than 10 something this this is how we will get a data pm environment dot loop count will be a one two something like that and board data will be a static data will be always 10 or how many boards present on a uh, trello so this is what number we will get so once we this condition satisfied then we have to fetch two information which is the id and board so first we are getting a board id so here i'm writing a pm dot environment dot get loop count why because loop count here i will get a loop count value one two three something like that and board data so board data is a array so here we got a board data array so what basically i am doing board data of zeroth index so basically we are getting an index zeroth index first index second index based on that we are getting a id so this is what we have written board data dot appropriate element dot id and we are setting with a pm environment variable dot set board id and this is way to get the value so you can write something like this or you can write something like this where value 
और बोर्ड डेटा बोर्ड आई डेटा इज इक्वल टू समथिंग लाइक दिस फर्स्ट यू विल गेट अ आई डी एंड देन यू कैन पास हीयर समथिंग लाइक दिस यू कैन राइट और सिंपली यू कैन पास दैट एंटायर स्टेटमेंट हीयर ओनली सो वी वी आर सेटिंग अ बोर्ड आई डी सिमिलर वे वी आर सेटिंग अ सिमिलर फेशन पी एम डॉट एनवायरमेंट लुक काउंट एंड देन वी आर गेटिंग अ नेम एंड देन वी आर स्टोरिंग अ करेंट नेम सो वंस दिस स्टेटमेंट विल एग्जीक्यूट uh this two data will get stored here board id and current name so this two data will get stored here and then we have to increment in loop count because every time we have to get the fresh data so first time we got from the collection variable here we got the list so uh, first we got this data which is a zeroth element then we have to move to the second element then we have to move to the third element so every time loop count we have to increase because this code is running multiple times not a single time so we can not store with a temp variable so that's why instead of storing this data with a temp variable we are storing it with a collect a collection level variable so uh, we have increased the loop count value this is the important uh, statement pm postman dot send request pm info dot set request name so basically uh usually we are writing pm dot environment pm dot global variables pm dot collection variable whatever in variables we wanted to work or if you are dealing with a response then pm with response something like that so pm is a standard syntax but here we are manipulating entire collection so that's why we need to use a postman so this standard syntax given by the postman and uh, that is syntax so which request we wanted to execute next so postman dot set next request and we have to pass the request name so we can hard code the data so basically we can do one thing we can copy this name and we can pass here or there is a way to get the current request name which is a pm dot info dot request name so this statement will get us the request name and then inside that we are passing this data so pm dot set re next request so basically this is also something like this request name is equal to this we are getting a request name and then with this statement we have to pass the request name whatever request name we are getting we have to pass so something like this we can do or we can write in a one statement which will look like this because postman usually move to the next request so once we are executing this request then postman collection will move to the create cart request but here forcefully we are telling to postman that no no we have to execute this request only this request only every time we are keep telling to the postman so postman will keep running this request only and every time we are changing the data now once this condition is fulfilled once this condition is not satisfied so loop count will become at some point 9 and this data board length also will become a 9 so in that case we are assuming that we have executed all the data and we are able to get the data successfully so now we have to move to the else statement this will move to the else statement and it will set loop count to the zero so earlier uh, till this execution was going on it was incrementing by 1 2 3 4 5 6 based on the data but now we have executed required number of time then again for a next iteration maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow whenever we are going to you run that for that case we are setting it to again zero so again whenever next time we are going to execute this we will get by default zero so that's why we are setting up zero and this is very very important statement so if we are not passing this statement then postman will assume that collection is done we have executed all the request and it won't move to the create card request so this why we have to tell postman forcefully that now i have done my job now you can carry on your execution next execution so what postman will do postman will pick this request based on the iteration number and it will going to execute all this request here we got collection name here we got board name and board id we have passed board id here and now we have to validate the name again what i am doing i am just getting a pm response so here this time i have written in a function functional manner so earlier directly i have written the statement something like this for a test but uh, this the another way if you wanted to create a function based on the number of a test then you can provide a test in a specifically test name and inside that you can write a couple of a statement so this the another way of writing a script so here simply i am getting a response data 
and then response data dot name so once i'll execute this request so i get a name so i'm grabbing a name we storing a request uh, response name current name i'm getting from the environment so whenever pre request script got executed by that time it has set pm environment dot set current name so i'm fetching during the test i'm fetching the same name so id i have passed the a name so it should have some mapping board name so i'm getting that name and then i'm matching pm expect response name to equal to current name so response where whatever name i got it should match with a uh, this name then we are passing this test so this is how at three different places we need to write a script so now let's execute that this is the main part i'm going to the collection and then we have to click on the run now we have this two request so i'm deselecting all i'm selecting appropriate request to save some time uh get all the board details uh this request and we will make sure that next request should work the execution should not stop here so i'm now select i have selected five different requests and this request should run and single board request should run multiple time based on the amount of data we are getting from this request so now let's execute test manually so now you can see it is first call get specific board data and got some data and now it is calling all this request every time it is executing single board single board it has completed the execution and now create board get board and update board so we have started from get specific board data this was the first request and then we have executed this request based on the amount of the data which is second request and now then we have executed create card get card and update card create card get card and update card and you can see this many time this request was executed and every time you can see the id is keep changing here it is 5 bd here 5 6 b so every time here it is ending with something else 7907 it is ending in 4 cb so every time we are getting a new id and with a new data we are able to execute the test so this is how we have to write a script to achieve this scenario at three different places i hope this session was very informative and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for new testers thank you so much